So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? Oh, the this contract one. is waiting. Do you like parties? Because you've um, been invited to one. Of course, I don't think you'll she's be killing all the other no guests. One. Are you ready to attend? Okay, that probably sounds like... Okay. Splendid. <laughs> you need to go to the city of Skingrod, to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. No if anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests <sighs> believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house, and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Uh, uh. Each guest, at some point in the past, wronged their mysterious host. Now, he's hired us to exact his revenge. Excuse now, me, sister. Well met. The key to successfully completing this contract is effectively blending in with the other guests. So, for Sithis' sake, do not wear your hood. Well... The Count of Skin. The hood I got Goodbye. from you people, I don't wear anywhere. Well met. Remember the pretenses under which the guests are there. They will be suspicious. You must be as effective an actor as you are a killer. It would be a good idea to talk to each guest and appeal to their good disposition. Remember, if they really like you, they may open up to you. But she you won't You should lie. dress appropriately. The Deceiver's Finery, your recent quest reward, would serve this purpose nicely. If you earned it, that is. It won't matter because she won't lie. May you walk always in the shadow of cities, dear she can sister. She be patient and stalk them. But she's not going to lie to them to find an easier way. Coin. What an old Guess this is the place. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. Okay. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Go, go, socialize. Talk to those fine people. And then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. <laughs> The sixth guest has finally arrived. Well, it's about time. Do you know how long we've been waiting? It seems like an age. Whoever invited us here must at least know us, don't you think? In any event, 
We're all stuck here together, so we might as well get acquainted. The rest of us have already traded introductions. I'm Matilda Petit. The others are Nels the Naughty, Neville, Devizi Dran, and Primo Antonius. Now, who might you be? Please, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um... Yes, well, anyway, <clears throat> now that we're all here, I guess we can start looking. I'd wish you good luck, but I wouldn't really mean it. There's all sorts of things I could say and not lie, but they're not on the options. I'm the Archmage. I would grudgingly admit that I'm the champion, but... Personally, I think she's a little floozy. She's been eyeing young Primo Antonius, probably smells his wealth. That's right, it's a Breton name. I'll have you know the Petites are one of High Rock's oldest and most respected noble families. Good for you. Oh, that man disgusts me. I find his entire manner offensive. Why, just before you got here, he told me the most off-color joke about an Argonian maid. Well, if I can be perfectly honest with you, I find Neville quite attractive. Red guards are so exotic, don't you think? It's obvious that young Primo comes from wealth. A chest full of gold would be mere spending change for him. I have a good idea where that chest might be. That gold is as good so as mine. So here we all are. Certainly is a nice house. I can't quite decide so where I should look. here we all are. I don't want to... Hello, I'm Dovesi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Now that you're here, we can really start looking for that chest of gold. What I mean to say is, before you arrived, we all just sort of glanced around a bit. Now that we're all officially here, we can look in earnest. Mm -hmm. Not much to tell about me, really. I'm from Morrowind originally, but my family moved to Valenwood a few years ago. Well, I really don't know her, but she seems like a very respectable old lady. I wonder what makes him so naughty. He seems nice enough to me. He's a very serious man. But I guess that's normal for a retired soldier. He's very handsome, but please don't tell him I said so. <laughs> All right, then, I guess I'd better start looking. That gold's not Can't going to find decide itself. Where I, should look. I don't want to. So you finally showed up. It's about time. People of my station are not <laughs> accustomed to waiting. Yeah, and? Can I be honest with you, my friend? I find Dovisi captivating. She possesses a beauty beyond compare. Maybe you could do me a favor. If you speak with her, put in a good word for me, would you? I would be forever in your debt. Uh-huh. Apparently, the poor old woman thinks she's from a well-to-do family. Truth is, I have servants with more nobility in their blood than her. Nels is a drunk. He doesn't even try to hide that fact. But what else is he? When the liquor is dried, what remains of the man? I think Nels drinks to forget, maybe about some tragedy in his life. He plays the buffoon, but I sense a deep sadness in him. I know he's a retired Imperial Legion officer. Apparently, he's been in campaigns all across the Empire, from Skyrim to Morrowind. I also get the sense uh, that he's very eager to right find the gold. They're right next to each other? I can't imagine his life of servitude to the Empire left him with much to retire on. It's a regal name from a rather regal family. Indeed, my father owns more property than the East Empire Company. Uh-huh. I have a good idea where that chest might be. That gold is as good as well. Just 
just making sure these are books I've all read. I can't quite decide where I should look. Well, hello there. Nels is my name. Some call me naughty, but don't you believe it. <laughs> Let me confide something in you, my friend. Dovisi is the spinning image of my own daughter. Her skin is darker, of course, but that sweet face. My daughter was killed, you see. A few years back, by bandits. I'm sorry. Please forgive a father's heavy heart. <laughs> you should have seen the old biddy trying to talk to young Primo Antonius. She may be a noble, but he looked down on her like a scullery maid. Ah, don't let the name fool you. I had a bit too much mead a few years back. And there was this tavern wench. Anyway, just call me Nels. Mm. I will confide something in you, my friend. I despise Neville and all his Imperial Legion ilk. They are useless, uncaring tools of corruption. Three years ago, my village in Skyrim was attacked by bandits. We went to the nearby Imperial Legion outpost, but they refused to help us. My dear sweet daughter Olga was killed that day. She was murdered, and the Legion would do nothing to help her. Neville and his kind are scum. <laughs> Just wait until I go to Skyrim. <laughs> mm. Primo is young and rich. I can sense a good, decent person in there somewhere. He just has to get his priorities straight. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, maybe we'll speak again later. Ah, yes. The sixth guest. I'm Neville. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Oh, yes. Dovizi Dran. She's a dark elf originally from Morrowind, or so I hear. I get the sense she doesn't like me very much. Matilde seems like an upstanding citizen of the Empire. She respects the law and recognizes the Legion as Tamriel's greatest defense against evil. <laughs> Nels is a Nord, and like all Nords, he's a lawless barbarian with no <sighs> respect for authority. Yeah, no, this isn't foreshadowing at all. I'm a Red Guard, though I've never actually been to Hammerfell. I was born here in Cyrodiil. My family has been in the Legion for three generations. Primo's a blue blood, a noble through and through. He thinks he's better than most people, and in most cases, he's right. I have a good idea where that chest might be. That goal is as good as mine. Unlikely. I see. So here we all are. It certainly is a nice house. Upstairs, one by one. This problem will be solved. It's probably the easiest way. What kind of party is this? Someone has been murdered. I know, right? Good enough at sneaking to technically catch them. 
out here. Have you heard? Someone's been murdered. One of us. Uh huh. Someone's been murdered. One of us. Yep. Well, go back along your merry way. Yeah, that won't work. Are you all right? This murder has us all on edge, I know. So many people dead. I just don't know who to trust anymore. Yeah, if you two are together and speaking, um, that won't work so well for me. So many people dead. I just don't know who to trust anymore. And you know what? Even though we're the last two alive in the house, you and I are the only ones left. But we're not alone Save. in this house. That killer is in here with us hiding. But where? All of them say that it in their own special way. It's an amusing kind of obliviousness. Well, just hold still, will you? I don't even want... I'm not picking up a damn thing in this house. More trouble than it's worth. Well done. Not only did you kill the five guests, you acted as an agent of terror and oh, grief. You have pleasant. earned your reward and Sneak bonus, security. assassin. I lay upon you now the Night Mother's blessing. May she walk with you always and guide your hand as you act in accordance with the five tenets.
Greetings once more, Assassin. When you're ready, I have a most important contract. One that has been sanctioned by the Black Hand itself. Oh, boy. Do you recall the name Adamus Philida? The Imperial Legion best? It's time he joined Sithis in the Void. Think you're up to the task? Um... Adamus sure. Philida has spent his entire career investigating the Dark Brotherhood, interrupting our contracts, killing our family members. Well, technically that's We tried to job, eliminate but... Philida, of course, but failed on three separate occasions. He's a powerful man and was surrounded by powerful associates. Now the Legion Pig's years of service have come to an end. He has retired. Philida must not be allowed such a victory. His destiny is... darker. Philida now resides in Leowin, in the City Watch barracks, an honored guest of the soldiers there. He is, in fact, more vulnerable than ever. Listen well, my child. The Black Hand has sanctioned the Rose of Sithis. Fuck. It is an enchanted arrow that will kill Philida Both. instantly. Son as long as the arrow hits Philida, he will die. But it cannot pierce armor. Shoot while Philida is armored, and the Rose will be wasted. Travel to Leowin. Track Philida. Learn his schedule. Observe when he removes that blasted legion armor, and then let fly the Rose of Sithis. Kill Philida in any way, Rose or not, and the contract is complete. But to receive a bonus, you must go beyond murder. You must send a message. Once Philida is dead, sever his finger, the one that bears an Imperial Legion signet ring. Deposit this finger in the desk of Philida's successor, in his office in the prison barracks, in the Imperial City. Do this, and the bonus is yours. I see. Adamus Philida will find no rest in retirement, no. His soul will endure a kind of eternal suffering known only to those who have angered Sithis. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold loving. I'm gonna have to stalk him for a while and figure out when he's outside or otherwise unarmored. Oh, it's my pleasure. Please continue. Philida may be retired, but he'll likely have a bodyguard. Probably a member of the Leowin City Watch. You may have to dispose of him as well. I don't want to have to. Be seeing you. will only work if Philida is unarmored. So, when would a soldier not wear his this armor? This is your big hint. I only take my armor off to sleep or swim. You get both of those options. May you walk always in the shadow of cities, dear sister. So good to see. Hello, dearest sister. Oh, you're being sent to kill Philida. I hope the Rose of Sithis pierces his heart and sends his soul screaming into the void. Good luck, sister. I hope you don't get killed. I mean... I'm not even asking. 
Uh, fucking arrow. No, technically I don't have to use it to kill him. But in any case, I'll go to Leoin and deal with him next time.